que povo fin. When we begin last time. I think we were all in the van going over to deal with the, the catacombs and the Lankia Sanctum. Um, not, not quite. Not quite yet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> some. Oh, there you are, Hans. Why I didn't hear you? <laughs> Sorry about that. I was murdered to get to break away. <laughs> Mm. So last time the party was split in two. On one hand, Selin and Ivan, on the other, the rest of the gang, Dylan, Joshua, and Lucian, uh, is doing a bit of their own things. Uh, Joshua went to see his touchstone, I think. That's correct. Yes, that, that's correct. And screw around a bit while Dylan went to see his sire. And they came out with a plan to put some camera and get a maximum of leverage of anyone they could. While giving him a jammer, a signal jammer, just in case some things go doesn't go right. And meanwhile, I believe uh, what was Selene specifically doing? I believe she was building things. Crafting. Yes. Uh, crafting the... We... It was the armor that didn't fully get there. And then um, Ivan made a handbag. Yep, Ivan made a bunch of um, fire grenades. Always a good idea when you're a vampire. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I don't know this one. That too. Uh, and when stopped, uh, just when Joshua and uh, Ivan, sorry, and Celine uh, were facing off the sunset, and someone got burned quite a bit. Well, we both yes. did, but Ivan's was worse. Yeah. Yeah, but he, we, no, actually, because we we stopped after that because yep, the we next managed day, to heal. We, yeah, healed it all up with all the what we need to do. Ah, uh, so we begin. It's fairly early in the night. Everyone has woken up, and I believe the plan was to go see the catacombs under the cathedral. And for that, you have learned that the. The cathedral itself is a territory of a Lanciaic Sanctum, but the catacomb under it are part of the Circle of the Crown, and more specifically, Nosferatu's. Ah. Well, I just realized something. Isn't Damien a, a whatchamacallit, a li 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 Lancia? Damien? I thought he was a changeling. Yeah. He's not a vampire at all. Must be a different somebody else. Must yeah, there's a, a secondary Damien, which is uh, one we've ah, talked right. to casually. The son of the devil. <laughs> this is not a bad movie Close. from You're the thinking, 70s. Uh, Damien Septimi, the yeah. quote, confessor of the court. Yeah, that is one that uh, is part of the Lancia, and uh, quote to him. Is not well respected by them. Wait, is that Idris? No, um, Idris is the notary. Mad Sweeney? You know, oh. it would be easier if you called people by their real name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, to be fair, I don't remember. So, these nicknames I've given them has faded into the past. I just don't remember what the real name is anymore. <laughs> Again, to be fair, this will be the first time I've met them. All right, never mind then. Who's Corvus then? Yeah, who is that guy? Sounds like a real asshole. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know, it's Ivan Sire, but nobody seems to have seen him in a while. At least these past weeks. 
Right, refinding it might be an issue on the table, but we got enough on our plate already. Good God, let's hope nothing bad ever happened to that guy. You can't hear it, but I'm rolling my eyes as hard as I can. <laughs> All right, never mind. I yeah, let's hope not, because otherwise people will come to you asking for answer. Yeah. Good, God, right. good job there. Go talk to the people I've told that I have amnesia to. They don't care. <laughs> Neither do I. Go well, talk in to my either grandsire. Case. So we don't have wait. So we don't have any contacts in the Lancia to talk to. Joshua does, and yeah, but I said from that, nope. Joshua, who do you know in the Lancia? Oh, well, I personally talked to Damien a little bit, and he seems like a nice person. Yeah, I but tried to totally... reach Corvus, but. He's missing still. Yeah, but I get the feeling that Damien's not going to get us a free hall pass into the. True. I kind of figured we'd probably work on the Crone side a little bit more, given that, uh, well, we have Celine with us. And I was just kind of thinking of winging it from there, honestly. I mean, we could just sneak into the cathedral and go to the ent entrance and hope no one spots us, but that's. That's stupid. I mean, <laughs> we are on official city business. We could always flex that a little bit at someone. What are we... What are you guys trying to do? I feel like I've missed something. The entrance to the catacombs is inside a cathedral that's controlled by the Lancia. And the catacombs are controlled by the crones. They're apparently beefing with each other. So us walking in there and saying, hey, we're going to go into the catacombs... No, 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 no. I mean... I don't know why we want to go into the catacombs. That's why I'm confused. Because the catacombs leads to the pharmacy where all of the Sons of Phobos nonsense is happening, and we can sneak into the building. I don't think it's a but... pharmacy, but it is underneath the building we're targeting. And right, it's so only rather a one-way in them. thing? You can only get there through the catacombs? Because wouldn't that then mean that the crones are in with the Phobos guys? If there's only one way in, it's through them? Our no, Our current no. idea is that it would be easier to slip in undetected into the building than to try to barge through the front door and start a firefight. Plus, um, I forget, Azrael's character found out that the crones are actually guarding the catacombs, so they're not involved in whatever's happening up there, they just have guards posted at the Oh, entrance. you're saying that there's an entrance to the place we want to go through the catacombs? Yep. Yes. You're just using it as a shortcut, okay. Because the alternative is to kick in the front door and be noisy. Well, I mean, do you, do you know where the entrance through the catacombs to their place is? Because that might be just as noisy if you don't know where it goes into their own building. No, yeah, Lucian scouted ahead of us and figured out that there's an entrance under the building. But that's I think that was Damien by... who learned of it. Was right, it Damien? Yep. Right, but I My mean, bad. where does it go in their building? Because if it goes somewhere public inside the underside of their building, then... I assume it's the basement. That just seems like a common sense kind of answer to that question. Right, like, but if they're doesn't... a hidden secret society, then their basement might be kind of, you know, filled with people. True, but the front entrance might have all sorts of, like, you know... I'm just seeing, like, a, a long Trap. hallway with a minigun at the end of it or something. Well, I still like the idea of a nice, uh, thick basement, uh, muffling the shot of any shotgun. So yeah, this is the quietest way in. If if it's obviously too dangerous, then that's the answer. But I get the feeling that this is either something they don't know about, or it it's it's a secret entry. Either way, we can find out if we get more information and try to see it ourselves but we need to find someone in the lancia who will let us into the cathedral wait you said the the crones are beefing with the lancia yes apparently there's some sort of territorial dispute over i, I guess where the where the catacombs and the end uh, i don't know apparently they're they're so why we should each talk with them so there's got to be more than one entrance to the catacombs 
Well, according to Damien, that's the only entrance that he could find. Well, so why would the entrance we... to your place be through somebody that you have a fight with? Uh, oh, Damien told you. Um, Damien told you it's underground. He knows the place of the Sonophobos is underground, and he know he knew that was a catacomb, a set of tunnel in the catacomb of the cathedral, and he tried to go to see if he could go from the catacomb to the Sonophobos. But he could not get him because there was no sphere two that could see through him and did not let him pass. But you understand what I'm saying, though, right? That if your organization is beefing with another organization, then your place isn't going to be through their place. Oh, yeah, it's a totally safe assumption, yes. That just sounds weird and wrong. That, that was your assumption. Uh, you know that there are... There are no threat to the catacomb. You don't, we don't know how far deep down it extends. That's the thing. Hello? So yeah, our alternatives is to either kick in the front door, go in commando style, and, and see what happens, or try to sneak in. I vote for the sneaking in. Now, there are... Um... Their place is... Lean would be able to survive kicking in the front door, probably, but I don't know about the rest of you guys. Their place is completely underground, or it has an above ground? Uh, you don't know. We don't. It's Selene... not the. It's not the place with the zombies, right? No. Yes, that is the same place, right? Well, then it has to have an above no. ground component because zombies walked out of their front door. Right. Are you trying to talk about the Sons of Phobos location of the Nosferatu to own tunnels? Well, that's we thought about the location, I think. Uh, you've made I it sound... Or they've made it sound like it's the same place. Like, it's one and the same. Not... No, no, no. The catacombs lead to that location. Right. So there's a way to get into this building that we're trying to get into underground, through the catacombs. But the Osferatu patrol the area. They're aligned with the, sun, with the, the, the crones. And the entrance to these catacombs are in the cathedral, and that's currently controlled by the Lancia. And they don't like each other right now. You can always just try and smoke them out, not even enter the building at all. Well, a five that... alarm fire could certainly uh, breach the masquerade if it's not. Oh, I, I didn't say set the building on fire. I just said smoke them out. Drop like yeah. a smoke. Uh... Smoke bomb down through one of the vents in the ceiling and put a, a tarp over the top of it so the smoke has nowhere to go. Simulates a fire, not really a fire. Any concerned homeowner will call somebody and try to get out of the building. They don't actually have to set the building on fire. You don't have any points in science and one in intelligence. You certainly I do, do have point well. in craft, though. I, not the same thing for that. Hey. Anyone trying to do a home repair is going to want craft and not science. You, yeah, but for simulator fire and play with chemicals, that's also trying... No, I didn't say anything about making a smoke bomb. I just said throwing a smoke bomb. Yeah, say, you don't know to make a smoke bomb. Yeah, I didn't say anything about that. I just said I would know that if you put a smoke bomb down the vent in a roof of a house... And even with one... With one point of craft and one intelligence, it's very unlikely that you can, can think of that solution. Well, let's see if I think about it then. Well, regardless, like, I, hit... I kind of... I'll think about it as much as pull it off. You do have two other people who could probably pull it off for you. Plus, I kind of think it gets us to the same point. Someone's going to call the cops in the fire department. I didn't realize you've been drawing this whole thing on the screen. <laughs> That's basically it, yeah. Well, if anything, we should speak with the... I'm up for speaking to the... the Lankea and the Circle, just to see what their, what their gripe is. Yeah, okay. If we gotta be, you know, Camp David Accords thing before we do this, then yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. This all looks correct, right, Emmerich? Yes. Um, it's the, Joshua holds I up the green piece of paper with crayon on it. Mm. Yeah, that, like yeah. I love the I love the braids. That's a good touch. Yeah, without these stick figures on a writing, it kind of looks like a crying robot. 
Robot, zombie, same difference, right? They prefer to be called the living impaired. I'm sorry, you forgot. You need to finish. Thing, That's uh... our word. You need to finish it off with the, with some like vampire bats on the left hand. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> also, smiley face on the guys. No. That's also on the back of his head. I should notice. You should notice, but you haven't. <laughs> I noticed. It's an optical illusion. So, I feel like the plan is, is in my head is find a way into the church, get to the catacombs, go to the tunnel, end up in the basement, do our investigation. Yep, that's what I figured out. So, but the problem is, we don't know who to talk to in the Lancia, and then we need to figure out what, how do we get through this thing. And tr right. Well, it, hurt, it doesn't hurt to just try to go there and talk to them. Uh, the entrance that Damien and Lucian spotted before uh, was where the Nosferatu were hanging out. That, uh, that's their entrance, isn't it? So maybe we could talk to them directly and not have to go through the Lancia then. And since I am te Lucian is technically in Nosferatu, might be a good leverage vat there. Right, you and Celine would probably work because Celine actually has some, uh, He's actually part of that organization. But my um, assumption, my wait, assumption, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I need someone to make a roll. To do, where are your shits? Hmm. In the bathroom. Ah, there we go. No. <laughs> In the toilet. Um. Uh, make me intelligence politics, Lucian. Okay. I'm good at that. But my assumption was the entrance to the catacombs is inside the cathedral. Yes, it is. We'll spend a willpower on this, because I don't trust the dice. So I guess I wonder what the Nosferatu are guarding up top, then. Nothing, they're not guarding anything up top, they're Damn. hanging out to the tunnels. Okay. Uh, so my you, assumption was wrong. You do know uh, that um, there, there are Nosferatu underground in the city. Uh, however, they are not of your bloodline. They are of a bloodline called the Lagos. And they are, you don't know much about them, aside from they are very, very sensitive to light. Extremely sensitive to light. And they prefer to live in total darkness. <laughs> okay. I reveal my insights to the rest of a coterie. Oh, All you right. can get an inform condition, uh, I guess, want to. Well, yeah, well, then I guess we should just go talk to them. All right, so then I guess just go to the cathedral and see what's up. Uh, yep, that seems to be the plan now that we're all uh, grouped up together. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, the cathedral is in a fairly big um, portion uh, of the city. It's in the center near the historical castle. Um, you will have no trouble going there, but it will be closed at the time being, and you will probably need to break uh, one door or two to enter it, and there's a few people nearby, so you'll need to make a stealth dexterity checks, and someone will need to make a dex larceny check. Uh, oh. Was our intention to break in, or just to go up and talk to... It's... If you want to go you talk to the Nosferatu, you have to break into the church, oh, and I go to, to, talk to the, uh, the Lancia people. Ah, all right. I thought you wanted to go. Yeah, well, I assume there's someone from the Lancia at the church. I mean, it's their territory. There would be some representative there, especially if there's some border dispute with the with the. No, crows. you last time like, you like asked. A... No, no. Last time you asked, and they basically fucked off because they don't want to be sitting on a nest of vapor. They ah, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, so they're not there. Okay, awesome. I thought we had to negotiate something. Okay, yeah. So then we just got to break into this place. Okay, that's more doable. Well, we got plenty of sneaky breakies here, but uh, we're kind of short on larceny, I think. Which is where our best friend Damien comes in. I am not good at sneaking. Yeah. Or, we could, or one of us could always try and invest in one of those really high level lock pit. Well, Damien, let's I do just, have one of those left, I think. Damien will well, try we... to lock pick the thing. But you'll have to do some uh, stealth check. If you don't want to be seen by people driving by. Okie doke. And I'm not obsessed anymore, so I get to do normal rolls. Until you get obsessed by something else. Well, we'll just turn into a bat and perch on a <laughs> nearby window or something. There are successes. Nobody suspects the bat <clears throat> is trying to break into a building. <laughs> yeah, but there are no window open. For... I mean, they do, but they care less. No, I'm saying, you're saying roll for stealth, and I'm saying people on the street aren't going to suspect the bat is trying to break in. No, they won't. Well, if I would suspect a bat this time of year, since it'd probably be hibernating at least. Yeah, but the average person on the street. Ah, uh, yes, Joshua is walking casually near the front porch of the thing which is massive there uh well i don't know if you've seen cathedral before or european ones but the door is easily you could easily stack four or five people uh on top of each other and you oh, will yeah. reach the entrance and floor uh lucian has no problem going to uh, a smaller axis on the side of the building So a small uh, access door, that's nice. Yeah, but just right, yeah, you've definitely people have seen you. So that you know. Yeah. But nobody's going to give you any business right now. Well, good enough. Uh they'll check for the other, aside from Ivan. Yeah, is there are only uh, us three sneaking up there? Oh, only I could, right. I, I'd wait. I could try. Don't I have celerity? Doesn't that multiply my speed, which pretty much makes me invisible when I'm traveling? Mm-hmm. No, um, no, that doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's literally what it Someone's been watching a lot of The Flash, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Multiply her speed by her dots and celerity plus one. Moving this way is sudden, jarring, and the vampire appears to shift from point to point without crossing the space in between. Yeah, she but may you're use not this invisible. to briefly. No, she may use this to briefly avoid detection or launch surprise attacks. Yeah, yeah but not because here. you stop at some point, and when you stop, you become yeah. visible again. That's and you have point. to stop at the door, and there is a lot of people. Like it's not, um, it's not losing tail. The things in on the. Oh, okay. I see. All right, all right. I see. So there's people walking by the street, and we're trying to get to the store yeah, I see. without. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got that's it. more of that blink of the eye stuff. Like, oh, they were over there, and boom, they're suddenly in front of you. That's that kind of thing. Yeah, that's that kind of mascot breaking thing. Uh, All right, so why don't I just use my majesty and distract people on the street while these guys are doing their thing at the. You could. That's uh, that's probably a good way to do that. Just. Can you give me a presence, uh, I don't know, presence, expression, expression plus majesty dot, just to see how much you've managed to distract. Set up a card game, earn some money. <laughs> Meanwhile, right in front of the church, no less. All right, presence plus expression. I assume that's a normal role. Yes, uh, plus majesty. Oh, goodness. Shit. Oh, goodness. You belong there. Oh, no, why did I re roll? No, no, I 
Mm, I should have enough. No, it's two successes. Um, it's, it's more than enough. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't manage to gather a small group and just begin talking, asking, I don't know, asking things about the city and just pointing in the other direction, like, oh, look up there. Um, yeah, I act, I act like a stupid American tourist. Yeah. You know, the whole group managed to go to the little um, side entrance that Lucian uh, Lush found, and Damien is fumb fumbling a bit with a lock before managing to open it. Open it, and the door opens. All right, let's take a peek inside, shall we? Should be all nice and abandoned right now. It's all nice and quiet. Uh, do me a perception roll. Let's see. Perception was which two again? Wits and composure? Composure, yes. All right. Oh, I'm perfect tonight. I see Every, everything. Everything's still. Nobody sees everything. Aside from Ivan, we managed to see cameras. As in more than one? More than one, yep. They're tiny and they're, uh, they're placed further high up. Um, well, here's what I'm going to do then. In decoration. Yes? I'm going to shit in them. You're going to what? Shit in them. Bats have a very white shit. And if I take a shit, on the camera yeah. lenses, I'm you're dead. Block you camera. don't have any anything going through your system. Blush of life. Even so, it's only going to be blood. That still blocks the camera, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, and I could just have like walk a bike over to the security room. Guano. Bloody guano. Yeah. Yep, that counts. Done. Uh, but Joshua probably Joshua probably poke his big head uh, into the thing to try to look. Oh, it's still in. The camera may have saw saw him before, just before. Right. Joshua's paranoia on this is uh, certain, so he's going to get the security rooms open, and he can manage to get to the cameras and everything. Go ahead and mess with it. All right. That will not require a roll, as you are in the. The part where everything is managed, everything for mm -hmm. uh, which everything not related to um, right the back room offices really. Yep. The mundane affair of the cult is uh, just a bit quick uh, wits computer and with hacking. All right, wits computer hacking, which is my specialty with nine again. I get two. Yeah, you managed to remove the footage. All right, Easy. simple enough. Shouldn't come back around to recording anything for the rest of the night. Well, it's not going to see anything for the rest of the night. Precisely. Yeah, they have bad poop. Well, now that we're in a very smelly church. Nah. So, so now we it's... need to find out where, uh, where the catacombs are. Uh, there are stairs in approximately the middle of the church that goes down. Oh, that's nice and convenient. Yeah, probably involves cutting through a wine cellar. No, there's no wine cellar. For... It's a I guess keep your wine and bodies in the same place. Unless you like a lot of yada down, down there, I'm sure. Uh, Mathieu, you approach the... Again. Big wooden doors. Uh, they're open, as it seems. Someone's been busy around here. Not really. More like someone forgot to log them. Also a distinct possibility. What do you all do? Let's go. Down into the basement. You open the creaky, creaky doors. And you arrive in an underground. It's fairly. It's 
super dark. There's no light in it. And there was windows in the cathedral, so the moonlight and light of the streets could come in. Here, there's none. Well, the good thing about the senses that I have is I can see in pitch black. Yep, and since I'm a bat, bats can see and maneuver in total darkness without penalty. Yeah. That actually keeps well, leaning on the right. sho shoulders, why aren't you? Yeah, but that just yes. also means that I can, you know, indicate. Like a, like a tank driver, ironically. <laughs> you know, grip with one leg, grip with the other leg. But I can see just fine, so... Yeah, so it was a completely unnecessary gesture. Alright, I assume that I sneak in after them, after they yep. get in. Yeah, uh, doors open, church empty. It's empty, it's, uh, it's made of stone, there's a few sarcophagus with uh, faces of whole, well, people that must have been dead for centuries. Um, carved on it. It's a long, long hallway that seems to have an end, and still there's some uh, plaques commemorating people that achieved great deeds and mostly nobles. Hey, look at this one. This one donated uh, quite a lot to the church. I guess now we know what he was buried here for. Hmm. Uh, uh, there's no sign of any things going, going on. The hallway comes up at a wall, and you seem to all be alone in it. Uh, do you have any source of light with you, for those who can, cannot see in the dark? My, oh, cell, phone, my cell phone flashlight. Damn it, I forget everyone else. Probably has one on my mobile phone. Well, thanks to acute senses, Lucian can see him a pitch black anyway. Yeah, you don't need anything. Else. Yeah, I'll whip out like a small hand flashlight. Giggity. Right. Uh, I just need to roll something real quick. Hmm. So, a small little basement should connect to more than this. I think we're looking for a secret door now, aren't we? Yeah, I guess we gotta find the secret Batmobile button. Back cave button, my bad. Mm. Yet another wits investigation roll? Uh, if you want to, but just... just yeah, he's still that. trying to figure out what his people are rolling, I suppose. Yeah. Uh. Uh oh. All right. Uh, Joshua or Dylan? Hmm. Uh oh, that's not. Who good. will perish first? Yeah. I'm gonna use a D two. One is Joshua, two is Dylan. Joshua, as you look at the sarcophagus and go around flashing your torchlight, um, you feel a tugging as someone uh, sna snatch or something snatch uh, your phone away from you and it disappears in midair, leaving you in somewhat darkness as Dylan still, still has his torchlight, well, his phone yeah. torchlight mode. Joshua will take the moment to like uh, screen out, scream out a couple explicatives as the, his phone goes dark and disappears. Yeah. As well as Lucian's gonna be quick for, for still on the scene to see what's well, what the hell's happening. I, I guess I sw I flash my light in the direction that the light disappears. Uh all right. Just need to roll again. Can I do a quick use of Auspex? You could, yes. Uh, what's Empathy Auspex? And do any of us send a predatory aura? No. Spoopy. Hey, one success. 
That is two questions. Um, all right. I thought you wanted to do Clash of Will, but yes, go on. Well, I mean, because these questions are so vaguely written, the example ones, that I assume they just work, even if I'm not sure there's somebody here. What like, level are you using? Uh, the first. Uh... The general questions about people around me. Yes. Go on. Uh, who here is most likely to give me what I want? What do you want, exactly? Oh man, is this gonna be like a Pirates of the Caribbean thing where the arrow only points to the thing mm -hmm. I want, but I'm not actually sure what I want? No, no. Not this time, like, what do you want? Like, uh, what is your incentive for this question? I guess clear passage. Uh, no response for this one. Okay. Uh, second question. Who or what here is most likely to hurt me? Because that one actually has a what combined, so... Um... You can faintly hear the claws scraping against stones all around you. More than one pair. Alright, that's my aspects. And I mean, you can also try to use it to provoke a clash of will, or you can unleash your predatory aura to try to... if you think someone is hiding. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know somebody's hiding. That's why yeah. I was hoping the aspects yes. would point them out a little bit if I asked questions that related to one of them. Mm. Since aspects is a supernatural knowledge of the things around me. Yeah, but you need to do a crash of will to... Attack the obfuscate of any other vampire. Yeah, but I didn't know if anyone was obfuscating. It was really just a shot in the dark, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And since it was free, I figured uh, I go for oh, it. Oh, technically, no. Yeah, technically, for the second question, um, for the second question, it does trigger a clash of will. Uh, so your Ospex plus your blood potency. I thought you were going to pull a, uh, you know, smart ass answer like Joshua. He's got a no. gun and poor, <laughs> poor motor control. And poor impulse control. <laughs> uh, let's see. So just three d ten. Seven three two. So zero successes. Uh, they got only one successes. So no, don't get any answer for both of your questions. Like I said, it was free. I'm not worried about yep. it. Yep. Uh, All right. Well, so that leaves us uh, nowhere closer right now, right? Ooh. Why a sin? Does it? Could I use my majesty to draw them out? <clears throat> Probably not. If you want to be picked first as a target, yes, but otherwise... But you did say Clash of Wills, and I think like being spooked and having my phone stolen is probably enough to just provoke me to do so in the first place. With what disciplines? Uh, like I said, uh, not the Clash of Will, the uh, predatory aura thing, the lashing out. Ah, alright. Yeah. I think... I can't remember what that rolls. I'll have to actually look now. Uh, it depends uh, on which one you want to invoke. There's three different one for each power stat. Yeah. Uh, uh, predatory aura. In your case, it would probably be intelligence, since that's, I guess that's probably something you poured into. Yep, I, I got intelligence here for sure. Do do do. Uh, yeah, I need to come out on top, and uh, this guy's threatening my dominance here. Uh, but what is the other dice that I roll here? Yeah, blood potency, I believe. Okay, so, yeah, blood potency and power attributes. So that would just be th four dice total. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to add one to this. And... They can react. As they are vampires, too. Um... Oh, boy. I have bonus. 
More one, but still. Fires could apply on territory. I am hungry. Uh, plus uh, one. Then... All right. So here is my attempted roll with one success. I'm gonna roll for them. One ten. Roll the ten. One success still. Nothing happens. I mean, you sense something pushing back. That's for sure. That... Yeah, and Joshua just going to say, just show yourself. Come out. Um, do, me a do me a perception roll minus two and no penalty for the one who can see in the dark. Say it again. Minus two. Perception with no penalty for those who can see in the dark. From all of us? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's wits and composure? Yes. Okay, I'm always trying to throw resolve in there for some reason. Uh, all right. You'll see someone appearing, appearing uh, just near Joshua. This fellow. Ah, it's an engineer. <laughs> oh, hi, Thanos. Uh, someone needs to lay off a crack. And he kills you all for the for those joke. Uh, I'm a bat, so unless he understands bat, he can kill you. <laughs> Can't kill what you can't catch. All right. So we see him now. Yep. He's down here, and uh, he is in the to total darkness, and he's looking at Dylan with his thing things out. Like, Turn that off. I go. Okay. Okay. We're just here to talk, and I shut off the light of myself. You, you entered without any permi permission. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? We're, uh, on... This We're here on behalf of the Duchess. Uh, Celine will say, I don't think I've met you at uh, Serona's altar before. Who are you? Uh, I'm Celine the Shield of Marie. Ah, you. You win. Yeah. We do know you. Um, she knows you. Well, I calmly step aside and gesture for Celine to take center stage. Um, and uh, I will say, I assume by she you mean uh, the goddess who whispers, and I won't she... finish it. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Were you the ones who visited my grounds? Maybe. I didn't like that, but I'll let it pass. We're down here for a reason. What reason have you come to worship? No, we've come to negotiate passage through a tunnel. We need to get to this particular... Like, I'll give the building, you know, it connects to this, and the catacombs connect to, connect to it. We need permission I... to access... The... does not connect to our catacombs. I have... Don't think so. At least it's close, but it's not. It's not our turf. Must have been closed off. The well, schematics good... seem to indicate that it's there. Right. So that's we our have good reason to believe that it's down here. And I, have... we know this place. It's our home. You're welcome to. We can offer you safe passage if you want, but I don't think you won't find what you want down here. You, you can, can come, but the rest of you, who are you? What are you doing here? Like I we're said, we're here on we're, behalf of the Duchess. It's her orders that yeah, we investigate. Tough shit, she's not our boss here. Yeah. If she yeah. has a problem with that, she can come down, down here. Illusions, uh, Illusions. Damien was with you uh, until you entered the room 
Presumably, he's still with you, but trying to but hide. Just be hiding. All right. So, uh, in well, response, where... uh, well, I, I go, guess you where... go ahead. You keep cutting me off. Go ahead. Sorry about that. I'm just saying, like, hey, we're just here because there's a threat to the masquerade, and we've been sent to investigate. It's a it's a threat that you. That's a threat to you guys as well. Because if these guys keep bringing more attention to themselves, they will bring way more attention to this area than you probably want to have. Yeah, and who's going to be in danger? The one who hides beneath the city, places uh, the kind does not even exist, or you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Lucian also steps forward, and we've also come to cleanse a place of, well, the mindless dead. Uh. One of us, not one of us, but close enough. Yeah, but Kaiba kind of would probably spo uh, spoil our food as well. All right, you can pass too. Um, then I'll ask him. Uh, so the there are some, these since you asked this group is essentially my, I guess bodyguards or specialists um, if we are allowed or if I'm allowed to investigate to see if we can find this passage they would be the ones assisting me couldn't I negotiate with you to allow them in as well mm. yes what are you willing to give well my my cousins down here what is it that you want we do not want for much. Hmm. What could be of use to us? I know, I know something, but you're not going, not going to like it. Oh. Yes. Builder an altar somewhere where all can see it. Somewhere that will destabilize the established cults of the city. Defile a sacred place. Hmm. Seems a little too steep of a cost, if you ask me. Sounds like a fun time, really. What's well, a little vandalism between friends, right? Told you you were not going to like it. So, without making the deal, he would allow myself and Lucian to pass. Yeah. How about you two scout ahead? If there really is no entrance to this place, then we don't waste, you know, we just come back and say it's a waste of our time. If it is, we can. I don't know. We well, negotiate. Um, sure, we can go and do that. While we're gone, you guys can see what their what the beef is with them and the Lankaea Sanctum is. Are you for real? Well, apart from the religious differences, of course. What? What more do you need than that? So I suppose there is no negotiating passage with them through the cathedral. You already broke in, didn't you? True. But that was using subtlety. Uh, in, the, in the upcoming days, there will be more than just us that need to access that particular building. I don't like that. Well, Hence, if he let us do it, that might avoid this entire problem, and you guys could be left to, I don't know, do whatever it is to do. Ah, uh, do we manipulation persuasion? I'll go ahead and add in, and just kind of consent to that. Yeah, the I'm already friends with the uh, with the bailiff. She's going to do this one way or another, and if we don't handle this before she gets here, everyone's going to be here. Mm. What do I roll now? Manipulation persuasion. And do 
I'd like to do that too to a system. And yep. I'd like to know if I could add in my city status to that. Ah, uh, yeah, he can. Right. And you know you have it. good authority. Hmm. Here you I go. Do... Take four extra dice. Okay, I do have a specialization in persuasion. Yeah. Uh, what's the special? What's the specialization? Sorry. It's sort of like. Um... Like selling an idea to someone. You didn't write write down what were your persuasion. Uh, your specialization, sorry. You just you you have to write down what it is. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, then that's fine. I'll just take the four from. Uh, well, from Joshua. All right. That's fine. So it's a, it's a normal role, manipulation, persuasion, right? Yep, plus four. Holy sh! Not, not necessary. All right, we'll lead you through it. That only if you don't bring any more people down here. That's what we're trying to avoid here. All right. Good. And uh, along the way, I'll ask him, say, um, no, been... before that, um, your phone I written, I'll give him back, of course. Thank you. I will just put it in my pocket and not turn it back on for the time being. Um, I'm just going to describe the tunnels and then you can speak. Um... Sure. Uh, up, thing. Uh, the tomb, it leads you to a part of a wall that doesn't seem any. That doesn't seem any different. Uh, however, is and pass right through it, and you can all see. Um, no, see an opening, and it's it's made of. Seems to be more archaic and a bit more older than the rest of the. Uh, of the tombs, uh, it devolved, quickly devolved after uh, 30, 50 meters into raw rocks that have been carved in with you don't really know what. Uh, the place is a bit labyrinthic, there's tunnels uh, on, around you, some very, very small, some large enough for two or three people to stand side by side. Uh, in none of these are any sort of uh, lightning. Lighting, sorry, not lightning. Light. So it's, yeah, pitch dark. Yep. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, do you want to say anything? Uh, to... Yeah, I'll ask him if he happens to know what became of Corvus. Corvus. There's no. a Miket. Uh, Attached to the Lankea Sanctum. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just simply asking if you've... No. Doesn't ring a bell. Why? Seems as though he's missing. Yeah. What I think what I find troubling is the organization that... Uh, did the poisoning could perhaps be behind it? I don't know if he simply went into torpor in a back alley somewhere, but maybe Mekans are paranoid in general. Maybe he just decided to lay low. None of my business. Mm, indeed. And I guess I will ask him to. Um... I know that the goddess ar arrives when you invoke her name, but um, does she also have an altar that you pray to? Guess I, with Serona, for example, if there is a pl like an altar and a sacrificial dagger that you winnow your vitae on, but does the same thing happen with uh, with their goddess? Yes, she's all around you, all around us. She's a daughter of darkness. Oh, we have nice. altars to. We have a place when we like to worship her, leave offerings. She always takes them. 
So one could simply offer up one's blood to her and it would disappear? As yes, it would. She doesn't like taking offering when she's looked at. I see. She doesn't like being looked at in general. This is uh, good to know. And so I recall there was the note that was sent was talking about the the what the hunt something along those lines yes what about it can you tell me more about it your friend can my friend the one hiding behind you like in pretending him well trying out to prison and didn't see him you you damien sing Damn it. Just lay out of heavy science, you fuck damn it. And it does appear behind you. It seems very very angry that it has been seen through. So he's referring to Damien? Yes. When you say your friend. Ah. See, I don't know Damien that well. <laughs> Um, and so I guess I'll turn to him and say, Damien, what is the i I'd rather not we talk about this right now. We have a job to do. Fair enough. Seems like I'll be walking down these tunnels for a while. I think we, we, need, a, we need a bedtime story, camp, campfire tale, to make this way more spookier than it needs to be. No. And ask me again, or... I don't know, but I'll, you know, well. <sighs> it's all right. You can take a rain check on the vengeance. We'll mm. hold it. Either way, let's see. Are we getting close to where Damien yes. suspected there was the... And, uh, yes, comes you through a portion of the world that has, seems, uh, again, to be roughly rough leak of stone uh, but this one seems to have been walled off ages ago in says told you walled off it's where you wanted to go Here you are um we'll ask damien if this seems correct i think so is it behind you... this wall i yeah that's likely it's unlikely they filled up the entire tunnel. Let's go ahead well, and check. And I'll go ahead and um, just sort of investigate the wall, tap on it, try to listen for echoes and see, like, is the other side of this hollow? How thick is this wall? Uh, you can do a wits investigation check. Yeah, wits. Wits. Investigation. Nine agains. Three successes. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, the walls is still somewhat sturdy, but it's very old and I've been touched in a long time. Uh, there is sounds be coming from behind it. Some crackling, something. You don't really recognize what it is, but yeah, there is not movement, but uh, something is making noise on the other side. It's very faint. Crackling. Is it like fire or electricity? Kind of. Kind of like fire, yes. Hmm. So who starts another fire on the other side of a closed off wall? Could be the furnace or boiler room or something like that. I think the more important question is, is there any way we could pull the bricks out of this portion of the wall without making too much? Uh, no, you <laughs> shall do no such thing. That could be a ritual site, because... Uh, people seem to be very heavy on fires when it comes to ritual. I'm not going to break part of the necropoly without our consent. I didn't think I'd start excavating without it. Good. Besides, I've so shoveled home. Is on the other side of the wall. Is it like a hallway, or that's something distant, or is, does it sound like there's something close on the other side? 
It sounds you like there's when... empty space, and it sounds like there's fire. That's about all that I can hear. We'd have to actually take it Oops. apart and see. I'll be right back. I just need to go to the toilet real, real quick. I'll take a quick break for that, too. Me, too. Alright, so what have I missed in my brief sojourn? We found the wall. It's bricked up. Joshua feels there's something like a fire burning behind it. He's not sure how far away. The the Nosferatu won't let us go through the wall because it's some sort of sacred rule that you can't violate the tunnel, something like that. And then everyone had to take it. 